नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स मी अचन उपाध्याय आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ आर्ट स्टूडियो टुडे टू आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग ऑन आवर नेम्स इन मैथमेटिक्स विथ अ जेन्यून रिक्वेस्ट टू ओल्ड पेरेंट्स डियर पेरेंट्स इफ यू कैन गिव समथिंग टू प्ले टू योर चिल्ड्रेन देन दैट इज जस्ट फाइन इफ यू कैन डू दैट आक्स दैम टू प्ले विथ देयर नेम्स and they will learn a lot in mathematics so watch the video till the end i hope you will enjoy it for today's presentation you assume that you are together with the group of students and out of those students you have chosen two names and those names are sudishna s u d i s h n a sudishna and another name is subarna okay so with the name we are going to learn mathematics so the first thing as before in our previous video we'll count the number of alphabets in the name of each student we are taking two as an example so it has So this now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight alphabets. Write the number eight over here. She has eight alphabets in her name, and Subarna is there. Subarna has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Subarna has seven. Write seven over here. This way. So today, with these two numbers, we are going to. Differentiate between these two. What is the difference and what is the similarity? Something like that. Last time, we differentiated the number by two characters, two properties. One was the odd number. Here, two seven is the odd number, and another was even number. Here, two eight is the even number. More than that, today what we are going to do is, let us take the number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our number seven. and if you want to make other different arrangement with these dots 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 dots this dot represent the number if you want to make any other arrangement with these dots uh, rectangle is rectangle possible no it is not like that that's why this number is a number which has only two factors for example 7 has the factors like this 1 7 7 I uh, know seven times one. Uh, over seven ones are seven. You cannot find any other pair of numbers that multiply into seven except one and seven. Okay. So because of this character, we define this number as the prime number. A prime number. What number is this? Prime number. it is a prime number and in this one to define prime number a number that has only two factors two factors one and itself therefore subarna's name has alphabets that indicate the prime number 7 and with sudishna let's go for that one now uh, let us represent by dots the number of alphabets in sudishna's name so s u d i s h n a 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 rows and one column so that gives Uh, row versus column is eight times one is equal to eight. And here, if you go here, you have one row, one row versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. One into eight is also equal to eight. That is one arrangement. And it has other arrangement also. If we arrange eight dots like this, it has two rows and one, two, three, four columns. All together, two fours are eight. And if we arrange it this way, you have one, two, three, four rows and two columns. 
So 4 to the 8. Therefore, here in this one, we have the factors of 8 as number 1 is the factor of 8 from this expression or this. 8 is the factor of 8 and 2 is the factor of 8 and 4 is also the factor of 8. Here, beside these two numbers 1 and 8, this number 8 has other factors as well. The next factor is 2 and other is 4. And this type of number is called composite number. Composite number. So this composite number is defined as a number having at least one factor other than other than one and the number itself. So this type of number is called composite number. Therefore, my dear friends, in our no names, there are number of alphabets, either they are prime numbers or they are composite numbers. Just to find the prime and composite number, let us make a spiral like a galaxy this way, you know. Write the numbers from 1 to 100. Here I have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and I have gone round about it till 100. The number 1, it is very strange. It is neither prime nor composite. Let's um, blacken this one. That is 1 equals to 1 into 1. It's neither prime nor composite. It has one repeated factor. Even no two factors, you know. And the number 2, when you go to the number 2, this 2 has 2 ones are 2 or 1 to the 2. That's what 2 is also the prime number. Now, in this galaxy of numbers, what do you do? We, you go on blackening the numbers which are exactly divisible by 2. 2 to the 4, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 10. Okay, now we have uh, blackened the numbers which are exactly divisible by 2. When a number is divisible by 2, that is divisible by 4. And that's also divisible by uh, 6. That is divisible by 8. That is divisible by 10 and so on. By even number less than, let me say, 50. Less than or equal to 50. We have just blackened all those numbers divisible by even number less than or equal to 50. While we set all of them taking the multiples of 2. And now let's go and set uh, this number 2. Actually this number 2 is to be circled with uh, red. You know this one. This, this is red. Here is the number 2. You have to understand that one. And here there is the number 3. 3 has the factor 3 1s are 3. 1 3 is a 3. You know only 2 factors. 1 and 3 that's why it is also a prime number. And now, out of the remaining numbers, the numbers that are left over, let us uh, set those numbers which are perfectly divisible by 3. So here, let's go in this circle, 3, 3 is a 9, we have to blacken this, and 3, 5 is a 15, we have to do that. Uh, 3 7 are 21, 3 9s are 27, 3 11s are 33, 3 13s are 39, like that, 45, 15 3s are 45, 17 3s are 51, 19 3s are 57, and 21 3s are 63, 23 3s are 69, 25 3s are 75, 87, 93, and 99. So when we have cancel out or blacken or we set the numbers which are divisible by 3, we also set the number divisible by 6, divisible by 9, 
divisible by 12 like that. And now let's go and choose the number 5. 5 is a prime number. 5 1 is a 5. 1 5 is a 5. It has only two factors. And set all the multiples that are left here, which are divisible by 5. So in this circle, 5 5 is a 25 is there. 5 7 is a 35 is there. 5 11 is a 55 is there. 5 13 is a 65 is there. 19 5 is there, 95 is there. So we have said 5 also. Now choose the number 7. When we do 5, we have done 10, 20, 30, like that, you know. And now let's go for 7. 7 is also prime number. Uh, here 7, 1 is 7, 1, 7 is 7. It is like this, you know. And when we go on setting that way, 7 is left over here. 7, 7 is 49. It is to be set it. And let's go and finding the number which is divisible by 7. 77 is also divisible by 7. And after that, 91 is also divisible by 7. So now you are left here with the set of numbers. Those are the number 2, number 3, number 5, number 7, Number 11, number 13, etc. You find all those numbers here and go up to 97. So these are the set of prime numbers and it looks like a galaxy of stars. That is why I have given the name of galaxy of prime numbers to this one. And uh, in our test books, uh, when the numbers are arranged in a rectangular arrangement and similar technique is applied, then that is called the sieve of Eratosthenes. Sieve, S-E-I-V, sieve of E-R-A-T-O-S-T-H-E-N-E-S. This is the ancient mathematician under his name, uh, whatever he has done to find the uh, prime numbers, not less than 100, you can go above that. And I have given the name of uh, galaxy because the set of prime numbers is also infinite. There are infinite prime numbers, endless prime numbers in the universe. That is why they make a galaxy of prime numbers. So this is the galaxy of prime numbers I have made for you. And you can also do the similar thing. You start from the center. One is neither prime nor composite. It is given the uh, yellow color, orange color. And here number 2 is the only even number in the universe, which is the prime number. Other prime numbers, all of them are odd. And so other odd prime numbers are set by uh, green color. So, you know, now you can count how many prime numbers are there between 100. How many prime numbers are there between 50? You count off here. How many prime numbers are there between 20? You count over here. All needed different information regarding that uh, prime numbers up to hundreds are given in this one. Thank you dear friends watching me in my YouTube channel Math Art Studio. Keep watching it and do not forget to uh, like and subscribe this and share with your friends.